How quickly a dashboard or report delivers insights can have a direct impact on its success. Methods described in this video can be used to create responsive dashboards and reports that could deliver results quickly. In this video, you'll see how to set up data caching for a table and guidelines for when to consider data caching, how to set up data sets and when to consider them, and guidelines for optimizing SQL query response time. In this video, I'm using a data connection to the Samples Great Outdoors Data Warehouse. Selecting the data connection and schema that I'm going to use. I can now select the tables that I'm going to include in my data module. And I'm just going to keep this very simple. And I'm going to start with data caching. I expand the sources and select the source, select more, and turn on data caching. At this point, I select how long my cache should be available. The cache is populated by the results of a SQL query, and the results are reused in subsequent queries that have the same SQL statement or have an additional filter. Caching is not applicable to OLAP cubes, uploaded files, or data sets, even though the settings are available in the user interface. I could have set the data caching at the table level as well. Data caching tips and guidelines. When columns from tables with different cache durations are used together, the cache duration comes from the table with the shortest duration. Data cache settings in data modules can be overwritten in dashboards. Browser data caching can be used with dashboards. This is not available in reports. The next performance feature I want to look at is data sets. Data sets are customized collections of frequently used data. Data sets can be created from data modules or framework manager packages. Data sets can't be directly used in a report. First, you must create a data module for the data set. Before creating a data set, the source data module or package must be saved in either team content or my content. In this case, I've saved the Go Sales Data Warehouse data module from the previous example. Clicking the action menu, at this point, I can start to drag out the data that I want to use in my data set. I also have the option of double clicking values if I want to add that as well. To preview the data, I switch from page design to page preview. Notice I can also toggle the summarization option. Right now, it's showing me a single row for all my data. If I toggle summarize off, I see the individual rows that make up that total. I could also toggle row suppression on, which will exclude rows with zero values or no values. I'm gonna to toggle summarize data back on because a single row will give me much better performance rather than having to add up all the individual rows. If I had multiple rows here, I could apply filters to a specific column as well as sorting a specific column. After I make all my changes to my data set, then I just have to save it. I can edit my data set if I wanna make changes to it now I can either add additional columns that I want to include in the data set, or I could remove columns as well. Data sets can be used with explorations, dashboards, or to create new data modules. They cannot be used to create reports. Data sets can be refreshed from this menu as well. Data set tips and guidelines. Carefully selecting what rows are in a data set and determining if summarization will be used will impact performance. You can paste report specifications or individual queries into a data set. The suggested row limit for best performance is staying under 8 million. Data in data sets need to be refreshed periodically. Either manual or scheduled refreshes can be used. Cognos Analytics is designed to take full advantage of your data infrastructure. As much data processing as possible is done by the data server. The goal is to stay within your user's time weight tolerance and part of this is reducing the number of rows of data that must come back from the data server. 
SQL optimization tips and guidelines. A good performance benchmark is the number of rows returned should be equal to the number of values displayed. Using data caching or data sets may be a good way to avoid waiting for large amounts of data to be transferred. Materialized views on the data server can provide summarized data. Converting data types can significantly increase response time. This concludes the video on how to improve response time and performance. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.